Welcome to Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main news stories from Paphos. This week, Paphos Municipality said that it was optimistic about the number of civil weddings booked in 2010, ahead of its trip to the London Wedding Show this month. The municipality will promote Paphos as a venue for civil weddings at the annual trade show. Meanwhile, it says that it is also targeting growing wedding markets in Russia, Poland and Israel. Paphos was treated to a performance of Maasai dance and music from Kenya this afternoon at the Azaya Beach Hotel, held in order to raise money for Orthodox Church children's charities in the African country. The performance, attended by Cypriots of all ages, was organized by the Pan-Cyprian Association for the Friends of Kenya. Police News Now. Police located a convict in Strumpi this morning after he escaped from custody last night. The 30-year-old Syrian man, arrested for living in Cyprus illegally, fled after faking a vomiting fit in a police car during a return visit from Paphos General Hospital where he had been treated for a minor condition. Police had allowed him out of the vehicle to throw up and he escaped. Now the week's main national stories. President Christophius was discharged last night from Nikisay General Hospital where he underwent tests following a bout of illness earlier in the day. His office says he is now in good health. And during his first visit to the island this week, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, praised the efforts of leaders on both sides of the Green Line to reach a resolution to the Cyprus issue. The diplomat was in Cyprus for two days in order to bolster peace talks, which started in September 2008 and intensified last month. And a six-member delegation of volunteer Dr. Cyprus departed for the earthquake-ravaged areas of Haiti with supplies of medical care and pharmaceutical assistance to victims of the recent earthquake. The mission's aim is to provide immediate medical care and also explore the possibility of helping in the long term by creating infrastructure such as a medical center, a boarding school for orphans and food programs. The delegation will remain in Haiti for 10 days. And a Cyprus Airways aircraft made an emergency landing yesterday after a malfunction of its electronic system. The Athens-bound flight, carrying 98 passengers and six crew, returned to Larnaca 45 minutes into the flight without further incident. Well, that's all for our midweek video news. Join us again tomorrow for a fresh roundup of print version news. Our video news will be back on Friday with a roundup of the week's key stories.